So this is a quick teardown video of the Roborock S5 LiDAR module. I purchased a few off of Taobao, maybe a few too many, um, so I can uh, tear them down and, and work on reverse engineering them. So, so we'll remove the DC motor first. See it there, standard DC motor. See the belt on the uh, module right there. Take off the top. Take off the little tamper-proof sticker. There's also the shield for the laser and the camera. This is a LiDAR from a Neato XV11. I'm just going to take the top off real quick so we can compare it. It looks like it's a replica of that one with um, a slight improvement of how they route power. The Neato uses a slip ring to pass power and data through, and you'll see this uses uh, inductive uh, coupling, the same way a wireless or, or cordless toothbrush charges where you set it on a base. So we'll remove the bottom board here. On the bottom, the way they send data through is by uh, an LED and a diode on the bottom. So there's an LED on the top that's shining light through that hole to that little diode on the bottom there, and then it's powering a coil see the blue wires power a coil that's in the bottom there that sends power wirelessly to the top uh, to the top module there's a little counterweight that's used to balance uh, the module as it's rotating there's two of them that are in there so this top part just comes right out and you see there's no wires so the Neato had a slip ring um, this is just inductive power to the top and the LED that's inside there that um, sends the data down to the bottom um, just, you know, by flashing uh, very fast, sending the data serially. So it's one-way communication from this to the robot. There's no bi-directional communication. Now we'll take apart the rest of the base here. There's a large bearing that you'll see that's in there. And in order to take out that um, inductor that's in the bottom, I'll have to cut those blue wires. So we'll take the screws out of the top here. And there's a little work to uh, pop all the clips off of the bearing. So you see this part uh, come out right here that snaps on, and that's a large bearing over two inches uh, in diameter. So I'm going to try here to take the bottom bearing out. There's a lot of screws that go around that hold the little plastic clips in place so that they don't flex. It just snaps in. Um, so as all those screws come out, I'm going to look around for the right uh, screwdriver to take it out. So this quick teardown video is to accompany some detailed photos that you'll find on richesum.com. There'll be a link in the um, description. It's a wiki for reverse engineering, a whole website dedicated to everything about reverse engineering. So this teardown video along with the detailed photos will be there, um, along with everything else uh, related to reverse engineering as we go forward. Early days for it now, but um, it's open to anyone who wants to post, so I encourage you to go there and share any reverse engineering projects you're working on so we can all have one uh, repository for it. So I'm going to take the inductor out of the bottom here now. I'll chop these wires off because it can't pull through with it on. And then pop it uh, right out of the bottom. It's just held on with some clips as well. And so out it comes. I'll jump the video here in a moment because I did quite a bit of measurement, but it's not really relevant to a teardown. So we're back on the top module now, and this is the inductor that goes in between the other one, so that carries the, the power to the top module. So you see the board that's on the bottom of the, the top module that rotates there. It's also interesting, there's these two large gold pads you see. Those are visible through the top hole all the way through the top uh, plastic uh, orange piece that goes there through a little piece that pops out. So it's some kind of a uh, part of their test setup. So we'll remove the board that's on the back of the laser module. This has the line sensor on it. It's a CMOS uh, line sensor. You'll see it as it comes off. It's what the laser reflects against, which is how it determines how far away the laser is uh, by the angle where the laser shines on that. And so finally, I'll just show you real quick, as I take all these boards out, I generally take pictures of them, I put them in a notebook, and, uh, and then I document everything about it as part of the reverse engineering process. So you see photos of the boards, I label all the components, and it's kind of the first step to figuring out how all this works 